welcome back and welcome if you're new here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you everything that's in my purse. I've actually done this video before a few months ago, so this is an updated version. I do switch my bags out every season. The last video I had a winter bag and now I have a spring bag. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll be sure to link it down below so that you can check it out. And if you guys are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I hope that you enjoy it. And if you do, please be sure to subscribe before you leave. But yeah, guys, if you want to see everything that is in my spring bag, then just keep watching. Oh, this is the bag and it's from Michael Kors. It's just a little tote bag. And then it also has a longer strap here that you can use to put it over your shoulder if you wanted to. I think that this bag is perfect for the springtime because of this nice pastel-y pink color. So the first thing I have in here is my wallet. I did switch out my wallet from the last one that I had. This one is from Aldo. It's in this really pretty nude, like blush pink color. And it has a bunch of compartments. It has this little pouch right here with this really pretty design. And this comes out so you can put stuff in here. I would treat this as a coin purse. I would just put a bunch of coins in here and then it has a zipper so you can just zip it shut. And I really like the gold detailing that it has as well. And then on the other side, I have all of my cards in here. There's this little compartment that comes out and then you can put all of your cards in it. I just have four cards in here, but you can fit six. Also another zipper in the middle on top. So in this zipper, I just have some cash right now. And then I also have my COVID vaccine card. I don't know if we'll ever need that again, but I just have it in here in case. I got used to carrying it all the time with me, especially during COVID. So. I just have that in there. We do have some trips coming up where we'll be traveling. I doubt we'll need it, but just in case, I just like to be safe rather than sorry. So I have that in here as well. And then I also have my pistol permit. It's also a wristlet, so you can carry it on your wrist like that. If you don't want to carry the whole bag, if you're going somewhere and you just need a little wallet, then you could just take this out and carry it alone instead of bringing like the whole bag with you. I have my phone. In the last what's in my bag video that I did, I actually had my old phone and that was the iPhone 10. And I remember saying in that video that I put it on my Christmas list to get a new iPhone and I got it. So this is my new phone. I love the case in the back. I have this little thing on it. I don't know what it's called, but I have this on it so that I can use it for when I need to film on my phone. It kind of acts like a tripod, so you can literally just stick this onto things and then film whenever you need to. Let me see if it'll actually stick to the wall. Okay, no, it doesn't stick to walls apparently, but oh wait, I think it does. Okay. No, it doesn't really stick, but it sticks to a lot of things and I've used it for filming before. This is the iPhone 15 Pro and I got it for Christmas and I see myself having this phone for a really long time. I just get really attached to things, so I think that I will make this one last as long as I was able to make my last one last. I really like the case on it. It covers the camera right here. You know how the camera kind of comes out a bit from the phone here? This case just really covers that, so it's protecting it really well. I'll have this case linked down below in case you guys are interested. It was like less than $10, and it's honestly my favorite case. I have like three different cases, and I find myself putting this one on my phone the most. It's also really soft. Yeah, this is my favorite case at the moment. I also have my keys in here. I showed you guys in the last video and I talked a little bit about my keys, but I just have my car key, my house key, and then this little keychain that my boyfriend and I got when we went to the CN Tower in Toronto. The next thing that I have in here is this little claw clip. 
well it's not that little actually but it's in this really pretty cream color this is really important for me to have i love having my hair out of my face i actually should just put this on the front of my purse like this yeah i think i'll just leave it like that for now and i actually also have a matching hair tie that goes with that it's in this cream color again i have some body spray this one is champagne toast from bath and body works i love this scent so much it literally smells like candy i'm actually gonna spray some it smells like champagne and candy i have a lotion from bath and body works as well this one is in the scent Sun Blooms and Suede. It's in this really pretty pastel pink color, which really matches the bag. I have my glasses. These are just for emergency purposes. I have my contacts on right now and that's mostly what I wear, but I really have a big fear of driving and my contacts coming out or something like that and then me not being able to drive. So I always have my glasses in my purse so that if anything happens with my contacts, I have them and I can get home safely. The next thing that I have are some tampons. That's definitely a must. I have an EOS lip balm. This one I had in my other purse and I just transferred it over. It smells incredible. The next thing that I have is this fan. Fan yourself if you get hot. I know it's only April, but it's like 85 degrees here in North Carolina. I definitely like to keep this in my purse on hot days. I have some pencils. These are in these really fun spring colors. We have yellow and then blue. They have matching erasers on top. The next thing I have is another lip balm. This one is from CarMax in their strawberry scent. I have a tweezer. I'm always plucking something on my face so I always have this in my purse. And then I have a bunch of mints. Kind of random. I think that is it. Yeah. I'm gonna show you guys now what the actual purse looks like on the inside. There's just a big compartment here in the middle and then on the sides there's two little compartments and then there's also smaller ones down here if you guys can see and then on the other side there's a zipper here that you can put more stuff in and yeah i think that is it it doesn't have too many pockets and things like that it's also a really small purse but i really don't mind that i feel like I don't need as many things in the summer and spring as I do in the fall and winter months. So this is the perfect size for me. I do have a really big purse and then I have a medium one and then I have this smaller one. So I think it's perfect to have those different options. In the winter time, I have my hat, my scarf, my gloves, an umbrella, just a bunch of things that I tend to not have in the springtime and the summertime. So this is the perfect little purse for me. That is everything that is in my purse, guys. I'm curious to know what you guys have in your purse and whether or not you change your purse out throughout the year as well, like I do. I feel like that's such an efficient way to stay organized and just motivated. I feel like cleaning out my purse and just starting fresh every few months really helps me look forward to the new seasons that are ahead. But yeah, let me know if you guys do the same thing and please also let me know what you guys have in your purse. I'm very curious to know. I really like knowing what everyone has in their purse. I feel like for us women, that is our hidden treasure where we just have all of our stuff. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.